breaking news on WDSU. The breaking news that we continue to follow, that man right there, the murder suspect who escaped JPSO custody Sunday night, has been captured. He is back behind bars. Deputies say Leon Ruffin escaped during a medical transport by pepper spraying a deputy and stealing her marked unit. Now the incident was caught on camera. WDSU's Shay O'Connor joins us live with more details. Shay. Stella, good afternoon to you. Yeah, Sheriff Joe Lapinto would not say how they were tipped off that Leon Ruffin was actually in New Orleans East. On your screen right now, a photo, a mugshot of Ruffin. But apparently, Leon Ruffin was at a hotel along the service road when deputies closed in on him about two hours ago. Now, officials would not say exactly which hotel, but it is believed that Ruffin may have been along the service road this entire time. He now faces additional charges, including aggravated escape and aggravated battery on a police officer. This is in addition to the second degree murder charges. He was already serving time in Gretna jail for now deputies believe Ruffin faked a seizure and other injuries on the night he escaped. In fact, he claimed to have arm injuries. He was also wearing a medical boot on his foot, which was the reason why he was not handcuffed or shackled at the time of the escape. The female deputy apparently was trying to help him when she was pepper sprayed, firing about three or so shots at the vehicle as he sped off. But officials say Ruffin was not hit. Now, one more thing to note, Sheriff Joe Lapinto says that he believes that Ruffin was helped when it comes to being able to stay at the hotel room in New Orleans East. So more arrests could possibly be made in the coming days or so. And of course, we'll continue to keep you updated on this. Reporting live from Jefferson Parish, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News. 431 today.